Emotion and our state of mind affect pretty much everything we do, but how do they affect our attention levels while driving? Well, for the first time ever, we're going to attempt to find out. We started by measuring our subject's attention levels in a content state. Then, we asked them to think happy thoughts. I think the happy thoughts was easier because you go to a happy place, so it's much easier to, you know, focus and, and concentrate. <laughs> Next up, we tried something a little different, a stress test. So what we're going to do is try to get you to remember um, seven animals and their colours. Okay, so we're well, starting here. We've got a red camel, black cat, green crow, blue duck, purple monkey, yellow sheep, and finally the pink bat. Alrighty, so I wish you luck and uh, see you on the other side. I'm trying to remember seven things, I'm lucky to be remembering two. Yellow sheep. The pink bat. Pink bat's easy. Black cat. The green crow. And the blue swan. Purple monkey. Green crow. Bugger the purple monkey. And pink bat. I can't remember them. <laughs> trying to run them through my head to find out what Look at that, I've lost it now, just thinking about it. How do you think you went that time? Oh, it was stressful. <laughs> do you think you did well? Uh, I thought the driving was all right. I don't know about the, about the memory right. side of it. All right, so how do you think you went? Um, reasonable. Just down the back, I lost power because I was trying to remember right. the colours and match them up. Reluctantly, we then prompted our drivers to go where no one wanted to. Sad thoughts. For many, that meant thinking of loved ones tragically lost on the road. I've lost um, two of my best mates in, in car accidents, and yeah, I just went there pretty much and thought about it and how it happened and you know what um, value they added to my life. You have sad moments, you have happy moments. That's part of the day. Um, I don't think we realise how it affects our driving and our alertness on the road. Emotion was always going to be a tough one to test conclusively, but we can make a few general assumptions. What we did find is that emotions do affect attention levels, sometimes in a positive way, but more often than not, they have a negative effect. Colin and Jesse, for example, found happiness the most distracting, while Charlotte was more inattentive when sad. Sean, on the other hand, was more attentive for both. And Murray, he found that mental stress or strain for him was worse than being sad. In the next episode, we're going to be testing how different types of music and talkback radio might affect our attention or perhaps even help. 